So here's my bell siphon about to uh, to do its job. The full start there. Goes back up. Go into my um, water tank here. You can see it's splashing down, drawing plenty of bubbles uh, for the fish and the yabbies. But I've got more than enough uh, bubbles in there to oxygenate, oxygenate the water. Now my flush is very quick. I'm not sure how good that is, but you know, this is my own do-it-yourself uh, IBC um, aquaponic system, which you can find lots of uh, information. So this is another passion of mine, which if you if if you guys follow me, you know the other one is coffee. I'm just going to show you my uh, Bell siphon, which I've, I'm using. It's, it, it is a, a large, rather large one for the system. But what I have here is what is essentially a pipe that you use mostly for uh, drainage in um, in your sink. So that can go up and down. Uh, if I pull it out. Oh. And you can see because I. Uh, I wasn't really into cutting too many of the of the pipes. Uh, I, I wanted something that I could adjust uh, for my system, and this one is perfect because you can literally go as high or well, the, that's the, the the shortest. But uh, at the moment, I've got it on with one up, and that's been working for me. So I just have to put that back in the hole. I'm not I'm not going to be showing you how to do that, but. Look, it's a whole lot of um, experimental experiments with um, with the with the uh, different uh, size um, PVC pipes, and of course the more important one is this uh, bit here that goes back into the tank, and I've I've got mine to be again adjustable where you can actually move that pipe forward and backwards and tilt it in, a, in different angles um, because uh, you know if it does keep having false starts I do have to adjust so anyway it's working for me now I've got mine on a uh, being power uh, the air being powered by an air pump here which is 18 watts and I do have it powered so by solar so if I you follow me through here you've got the here that is on a, a timer here which um, you know you don't need one when you have a bell siphon but I've got it on a timer because I don't really feel like I need um, too much to have it going continuously we're still in uh, the end of winter so here I've got a 600 watt pure sign inverter connected to my 110 amp hour um, battery and um, connected to my solar panel here at the front which is 160 watts and that's been powering it um, pretty good I um, I do find that I will need a sunny day to continuously generate the, the correct amount of energy to power this whole system which is basically a 35 watt pump there that pulls the water up and a 16 watt, uh, 16 watt air pump and it's, it just goes so I might just show you my strawberries if I can oh, 
cool up here because I don't have a door. That's a very cheap system. So this is my leftover drain system uh, which I had no use of so I, I decided to sort of uh, do a makeshift strawberry that basically feeds into here gets filtered a bit goes in runs through and I have a few coriander's growing as well and it just drains in back into the system which has been working very well and I've been getting a fair amount of production um, continuously through winter so that's good and and it's ideal really for strawberries as it hangs off show you on the other side if I can and there's some more strawberries there so yep so that's pretty good so if you, you've got some spare ones of these um, uh, drainage systems uh, just well maybe consider making one of these so yep that's my uh, aquaponics doing okay starting to grow more as it gets warmer past past the winter so looking forward to that thank you